Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher, the developer of Control My Joystick. And in this video, we're just going to take a look at how you do an installation of Control My Joystick. We're going to see where the files go and um, talk a little bit about the driver that is installed that enables the functionality of Control My Joystick. And uh, okay, let's get started. So uh, first of all, I'm just going to go to the Control My Joystick website here because if you download it from here, you know it's the official release. And uh, so I'm going to go to free trial. And there's a 14 day uh, full featured uh, free trial. And that's going to allow you to try anything you like with the software. Um, nothing is being uh, restricted at all. So uh, let's click on the download free trial. And we'll install it. So here's the installer and I'm just going to minimize the website here. So let's see what we have. So uh, what we can do here is, you know, when you run this uh, installer executable, uh, it's going to install a driver. Your computer may be set up that you require administrator privileges for that. Um, so um, if uh, you do need that, just, uh, just right click on the executable file and do an install as admin. And okay, let me click on run here. And it asks, do you want this app to make this change? Sure. All right. So uh, oh, it has a EULA here. And you could select the folder that you wanted to be installed in. It takes about 40 meg of space. And we'll make a desktop shortcut. Does the install and at the end here it uh, created uh, a shortcut on your desktop and it had installed the drivers and then there's a readme file here basically with the release notes and showed what has changed and is new in version four. And I'm just gonna click on finish here and it's going to launch the, the program. And when you are running the trial, it's going to bring up the splash screen here asking for a key and it'll tell you how many days are remaining. I'm just going to click continue evaluation and uh, make this a little bit smaller. Some kind of a skill test. There we go. Okay, so this is Control My Joystick version 4. Now, um, some things happened when we did the install. And first of all, I'd like to say that that installer is a 32-bit application, but you can run it on 32 or 64-bit operating systems. And um, the once you do install it, the Control My Joystick application here it is 32-bit. You know, it doesn't use very much memory and it's very, it hardly use any resources, it's CPU at all. So uh, it runs as fine as 32-bit. And uh, of course that can run in 32 and 64 bit systems. So let's take a look at where the files went. We're going to talk a little bit about what was actually installed. And I think that was installed in program files, control my joystick. There it is. Okay. So here's the main files right here. And here's the main executable. There's a couple other executables here that you can use. Um, as part of the control my joystick trigger functionality you can actually have your own app send a trigger which could cause a macro to fire in the application and you can also send data from your macro externally to another application and uh, here we have in the data folder this file here basically controls all of your profiles and uh, all the data for your macros and triggers and scripts. So if you ever to, uh, you know, configure a whole bunch of things in here and get it working just right and need to install another control my joystick for whatever reason, or perhaps on another computer, you can actually copy this profiles FDB and uh, put it on that other uh, new install. And it's like uh, bringing the data from the old system to the new one. And we have some driver uh, files here. Now, th these are the drivers that were installed. 
You can't reinstall them here just from these files. If you need to reinstall drivers, you need to reinstall uh, Control My Joystick. And we have a sample uh, sound file. And we have themes, and this is basically the colors and these textures and these fonts and everything that you see here. And there's a whole bunch of different themes, so uh, you can make it look uh, real nice. Okay, so that's Control My Joystick files. Now let's take a look at that driver that was installed. So I'm going to go to um, Device Manager. And I'm just going to go View Devices by Connection. And you can see that we have installed something called a TetherScript Virtual Controller. And it has a driver, which is a HID compliant game controller. Uh, this is really a virtual joystick driver. And we have developed this. And it's digitally signed, so you don't have to do anything weird or any hacks in your system to install it. It's a legit driver. Um, and this is a um, user mode driver. And so what happens is our Control My Joystick software communicates with this driver, and this driver then sends um, joystick emulation data to anything that's listening to it. So um, you could have a game maybe where you're flying a helicopter, and you could use um, Control My Joystick to appear as a joystick within the game. Now, if you wanted to, you could disable it. But you know, if you're using control, uh, control my joystick, you should not disable it. And uh, well, that's basically it. So this will remain until you uh, uninstall the software. Okay, this is going to close Device Manager. And that's it. That's how you install Control on My Joystick. Have fun.